Love me tender. Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Eric and this is Love Me Tender, the show where we eat chicken tenders. And I rate them on a very sophisticated scale, rating one, which is not delicious, to a 10, which is ultimate oh, delicious. delicious. It's a very complex system. We had a bunch of scientists work on it. They signed NDAs, nobody's gonna talk to you. Let's move on. If you missed the first episode, I'll say it again. I am obsessed with chicken tenders. Those handheld morsels of meat that just melt in your mouth. Remind you of a time when ketchup was king and pog battles were where you lost all your friends. I mean, if there's a light at the end of the tunnel, I would hope that there was a chicken tender right there to greet me. In conclusion, I love tenders, you love tenders, you're in the right place. This time, we're heading to the post off of Broadway. So let's get going. Ah, spring in Colorado. It's like spring everywhere else, except for it's winter still. Anyway, today we are here going to The Post. And The Post has been around since about 2014. They started in Lafayette, but they have blossomed here in Colorado with many locations and winning a bunch of awards for their beer and their chicken. It makes them a bit of a bigger establishment. What you'll see inside is it still has that homey small town feel. So let's hop on in and see what happens. Let's go. Hi there, welcome into The Post. Hi, thanks. got here. So they have a lot going on. They have more than just a containers. Like they have fried chicken, salad, sandwiches, all this stuff. But we're obviously here for the tenders. But what's cool about them is all their fried chicken is gluten free, which, you know, not many people do, which is just like opens it up. They have dipping sauces, like a lot of dipping sauces. They have a curry ketchup, a beer mustard. You know, we're going to try the hot honey chili. So without further ado, let's order some chicken. Welcome in. How are we doing today? Doing great. How are you doing? I'm doing great. My name's Katrina. I'll be helping you out today. I think we're going to get the regular chicken and maybe one order of the Nashville hot toss. We're going to do all the dipping sauces. All the dipping sauces. All that dipping sounds sauce. great. Uh, we have two IPAs right now, um, the Townie and the No Filter, which is a hazy IPA. I'll stick with the Townie. The Townie sounds the great. The Townie. Yeah. Okay. Let's get that going. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. So excited. You know, we've, we've seen a lot of tenders. People try and doll them up sometimes, but you know, you don't have to doll up a tender. You just need that tender to have that crispy outside, and just a juicy, delicious inside. Ooh, thank you so much. They make their own chicken, they brew their own beer. It's all gluten free. Like, come on. I love it. Ah. Tenders, Nashville. Every time I get tenders, I get, harken back to a day when all that mattered in life was the delicious meal in front of you and whether or not you went to the playground. Today, friends, I'm in the playground of chicken tenders and it's wonderful. I'm so excited to dig in. So we got the naked tender right here and like, oh, it's a lot of breading, more than expected, but it's very thick. So you know that there's gonna be a lot of juicy tender inside of this chicken. Oh. Oh, man, that is just so, just, it fell apart in my hands. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, the breading is thicker, but it has a lot of spices and seasonings to accentuate that chicken still. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's so good. Now it comes for the fun part. We got Nashville hot chicken. I'm not sure what makes it hot. Maybe future Eric will tell us what makes it hot. Ooh, look at those juices. You can tell that they have the breaded naked chicken and then they tack on the Nashville afterwards. So it's not a true, just like engulfed Nashville chicken. But nonetheless, the flavors are there. The breading is there. The chicken is very tender. It's still very good. Mm. And it's just steaming. You guys see that? Okay. Now we gotta try some sauces, okay? I am very excited for this hot honey chili we got going on here. Oh my gosh. It's like a orange honey. Oh wow, that's really good. You get the sweet of the honey, but then, you know, the nice fiery flavor of the chili. That is a great combination right there. Mm. I don't know if you guys remember that my face sweats when I eat hot stuff. You know, some people, they, they have temperatures, you know, they're, they're hot all the time or they're cold all the time. Well, I run Nashville hot. All right, now I'm gonna try this curry ketchup. Like, look, we have regular ketchup here and curry ketchup. Okay, let's 
Dip it in here. Mm. For those who like curry, this is really good. Like it's a really great tomato base. And then the curry just like envelops that ketchup flavor. It has that earthy ground feeling. These sauces are on lock. They're very good. All in all, the tendies are king. So you gotta make sure the tendies are good. That's so refreshing. A home cooked feeling of chicken tenders and a beer. Like what better way to end the day than just chicken and beer, so good. I am going to continue to mow down on these chicken tenders, sweat my face off, but eventually we're gonna go talk to somebody about the deliciousness of all this post chicken. Ow. So I am here with Katrina. She is a server here at the Post Chicken and Brewery. Katrina, thank you for talking to us for a minute. Yeah, of course, I'm glad you came in. So what do you think makes the Post kind of special? I think a big thing is we're pretty accommodating with allergies. Um, we don't have any nuts in the building, which is a big one. Even more than that, all of our chicken is gluten-free. Yeah, I, I think that's really fascinating. Like, like, why did they come up with that? Like, why were they like, let's do gluten-free? I think when they were starting, they just tried a number of recipes. The one they liked the best just happened to be gluten-free. Like, this happened before gluten-free became, like, a really popular thing and, you know, before people started realizing they had these allergies. The real question of the day is, do you like it Nashville hot? A little more than half the time, I'll get Nashville hot on my chicken tenders. Uh, it, it adds that like kick to it, right? Yes, definitely. It's it's it is hot, but it's got some great flavor. So, what actually makes a Nashville hot hot? Like at least yours. Um, well, it is a sauce made with cayenne. Ah, uh, yes, cayenne. The spicier, kickier version of chili powder, I feel like. Right. Yes. yes. Definitely a lot hotter than chili powder. You're gonna punch your face with flavor. Right. Yes, right. exactly. But again, it is flavorful. It doesn't just burn your mouth. It's no. flavorful as well. Yeah, I really love that. So, exactly, yeah. yeah. Well, thank you for taking the time to talk with us. Really yeah, of course. It. Boy, howdy, that was some good chicken. It was a little bit country with a splash of hipster and rounded off with a dollop of grandma's home cooking. Mm. And now for the business end of this video, let's go to the ratings. I give these tenders from the post an eight. <laughs> It had a lot of flavors and the spices on the breading were magnificent. However, it was a thick breading. I like my chicken tender to be just a crispy thin layer of breading. Now what really brought it back up to an eight were the sauces. For instance, they had a hot honey chili sauce. That was amazing. They also had a curry ketchup, a curry ketchup. I know some people are like, duh Eric, a curry ketchup. I've never had a curry ketchup before. That was delicious. On top of that, the Nashville hot chicken was pretty good. You could tell that it was kind of an afterthought, right? I mean, you have all the right seasonings to be a Nashville chicken. You could tell it was just put on top of that naked chicken tender, not absorbing that Nashville juicy, delicious hotness. To be clear, this was amazingly delicious chicken. Now, was it the most victorious chicken in the world? No, but regardless, it was delicious chicken. They make their own beer. It's all gluten-free and they're wonderful people and it's a great vibe. So that's my take on the post. Slap that like and subscribe button. And once again, thank you for joining me on this not so deep rabbit hole into the delicious world of chicken tenders. See you next time. Boy howdy! I mean, I love chicken tenders so much, I would buy a tandem bicycle, slap myself on one side, chicken tenders on the other, and go for a ride. Would you not? I would.